You alright, Tom? So I'm just going to uh, tell you a couple of scary Halloween stories, real ha Halloween stories that happened over the last two to three years that are in recent memory. So the first one I'll go back to 2020. Uh, during that time, you know what was going on. The Scaredemic, I think we'll call it. And um, I went out to the Peak District at night time and I went around Fort Clouds, uh, around the Stepping Stones. And I thought, if I was going to come across any cryptids, that would be the best place to go around that sort of area. I didn't see anything, so... But uh, what did happen was, is I got a text from my mum, and she was saying that uh, Boris Johnson is doing an announcement soon. And I seem to think he did the announcement somewhere around 10 o'clock, it was late, that we're going into another lockdown. I think that's the third lockdown in the year that they're trying to impose. Obviously by that time there's nothing going on. Um, so that was the first one. And by the way, I didn't see anything. I think the only thing I saw was uh, a load of sheep in the Peak District. I didn't come across any cryptids, unfortunately. Um, and the second one is actually quite scary. So where my uh, parents live is quite a wealthy area of Derby. I'm, we're not rich, but um, you know we, we haven't done bad. Uh, sort of lower middle class sort of area. Um, and I was walking the dog and I walked past this nice big huge sort of detached uh, Tudor building obviously people who lived in there must have been very wealthy and I walked past and out of the corner of my eye I saw something in the front room and I did a double take and I really like focused my eyes on what I was seeing and it scared me to be honest because there was someone sat on their own in the front room watching TV with a face mask on <laughs> uh, and that's more scary to me than cryptids and demons and spirits. It's mental illness at its absolute finest. You know, people have been absolutely mind warped. And these are people who are supposedly intelligent. You know, these are middle class people who've had to earn a living in some sort of profession or industry. But it's more, you don't need, in the, in the real world, in this world that we can see, you don't need all these ghoulies and cryptids and demons and spirits that people and even animals are scary enough. Um, particularly what was going on over the last couple of years. Uh, 2021, the way people behave to, towards people who wouldn't take the procedure. Uh, 2020, the, the um, gullibility of the population. You know, you, you walk out day to day and you'd see people jumping into driveways to get out of the way of each other you'd see people telling other people to back off and keep a distance but I can get that but then again at the same time are you really seeing people dropping dropping on the floor in front of you despite what the, the news is telling you and what the government's telling you we're well, not are you we know I, I can honestly say in all this time I actually don't know anybody that passed away with uh, you know what with Divock, as Nigel Watson uh, inverts it, Divock 91. Well, it'd be 91 Divock, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, so to me, that was more terrifying than any sort of demonic tale or story, goosebump related story. Just the way people behave. You, you think if we lived in a different time, the most terrifying to me about what's happened over the last couple of years was that lady who sat on her own in the front room would have been the same sort of person who could have been manipulated to believe that people were witches and got them dragged off and um, set on fire. Do you know what I mean? You know, like the, the witch trials and how easily manipulated and terrified people were. That it, Them sort of people still exist among us that they just need the right sort of programming and um, they're just not capable of thinking for themselves or questioning anything. And that to me is quite terrifying. Also, just as a little bonus story for you, there was a time, I think it was around 2021 again, it was certainly around, I remember it was cold, and I was driving down to uh, to Repton, to because to, there's a, a green gross uh, butchers down there that I go to, and um, I was driving down, and on the road, there's uh, a lay-by, it's an A road, sort of 60 mile an hour limit, and there's a car parked in front of a lorry, and uh, most normal people would obviously sort of come out slightly, check, 
make sure there's no vehicles coming before going. Now there's an elderly chap and as, as I came up towards the lorry that was in the lay-by, he decided to just pull out on me and do a U-turn on this busy A road. I'm not kidding you, like, I had to slam the brakes on and there was a, a mother and a child in the car behind me, not so far. If she had been filled in with the radio or something, she would have smashed into the back of my car. And I was fuming, as you can imagine. I wanted to get out of the car and drag him out. It, but he was an elderly bloke and he didn't even, I don't think he was even aware that I was there. But the scariest thing out of all of it was uh, he had a face mask on in, in his car on his own. So he nearly just wiped out three people, or well, four including himself. But, um, you know, at least he's protected from uh, the fresh air. And again, going back to what I was saying there, there's, there's some scary people in this world. Uh, I still see people walking around in the fresh air with the masks on. I still see people, uh, a fam I saw a family in Colchester the other week driving together in the car with all our face masks on. <laughs> so to me, the scariest thing is is uh, the normies. They they generally terrify me, and um, I try to keep a distance from them nowadays. I'd probably much rather speak to a cryptid or spirit than one of these uh, normie types. Yeah, but that's it. Cheers.